what applies at the end of the video. I apologize about me putting this as my background. Yeah, for um, YouTube, yeah, I can't because of how much it'll take up. I won't be able to take up my GFX and the building, but yeah, I guess I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, let's get right into the video. What is up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a your own Roblox GFX. You need to download Blender, which the download of Blender will be in the description below. And yes, let's get started. So first off, you're gonna want to open up Roblox Studio right here. While that's opening, I'm gonna go to catalog and I'm going to get a nice chart. I'll pause the video and I'll be back as soon as I get it. We are back and make sure it's not in R15 mode. How you can tell is if their if their body is all bent in different ways. See how this one is just fit normal. Anyways, you're gonna hit you're gonna just X that out and you're gonna open base plate. You're gonna go to view and you open both both properties and explore right here. And you're gonna hit test and then play. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to players. If this is only if you have a chart, you're gonna come to players, you're gonna click arrow and you're gonna click your name. Oh, but if you're just if you're just doing it, then you're gonna have to then skip this step. No problem. And this is the char. No R15, just the normal body. Now you're gonna pause the video. Or no, not pause the video. Pause. And this is if you're not doing a char, this is where it comes in. You're gonna come to your name. Right click, ungroup or control U. And then right click that, control G or group, right click and group. And then I'm gonna hit X or control C. In this case I hit control X because it's still it's cut. I'm gonna unlock all right here in model. Lock tool. I'm gonna lock your base plate. And you're gonna come here, remove the name. Then I'm gonna close this out because you now it's not gonna open up. And then this right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, export selection. You're gonna save it to somewhere where you're, where you're gonna remember. I tried recording this video, but it was a fail. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open Blender. Again, Blender is at the is in the description below. You're gonna click away, you're gonna hold you're gonna hold you're gonna tap X on your keyboard and then delete. To move you're gonna use shift and F. To move faster, you're gonna use your scroll key. To move slower, you're gonna scroll the key backwards and forwards and all that. You're gonna file, import, wave. .obj. I'll go to wherever you saved it. And you're gonna open up the obj file and the mtl file. Now you, if it might not be in the middle like mine is, you just gotta look around for it. If you can't find it, then do then do um the Roblox Studio part over. All right. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to right here next to object mode, material, and then you're gonna have it. We're gonna have you have material. You're gonna have it all dark, so you're gonna click the globe. You're gonna click environmental lighting, and indirect lighting, and then see, look, there's it's all loaded in. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, set origin, 3D cursor, and then you're gonna right click any body part you're gonna do. In this case, I'm going to be doing this. And then you're gonna slide it over like that. You're gonna come down to right here where it says object mode, edit mode. 
I'm gonna pull this down. Right here it says subdivide, click that, and then remove doubles. And then you're gonna right click that. So you're gonna position it. You're gonna hold control and and control and click and hold and make circles around it. Again, you're gonna have to swoop around with this to get every single side. The very bottom of the hand is the most important. And then like this. I'm very new at this, so it might turn out like shit. But yeah, now you're gonna come down here. There's this upside down Y. Then there's the arrow. You're gonna come to this one, and then this is gonna pop up. Then you're gonna click and drag and adjust it to what to what you want. Since I messed up a little and I don't know how to undo, because Control U isn't working up. Shift U isn't like all the all the um undo but controls aren't working. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna come back when it's when, I'm, when it's fixed. All right, guys, I'm back and um I got this all bent. What you're gonna do? You're gonna now you're gonna do the whole thing now. We're gonna control and click and do the whole thing now. Every single side, every single flat side. There's gonna be this one part where it's gonna be either gray, whatever color your shirt is, and you're going to take that and you're gonna move it over with the arrow tool. Now you're gonna go back to edit mode where it is in object mode. Now see how it's bent. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to camera, and if you want to make this a background or something, you're going to do. <clears throat> you're gonna find shading. You're gonna change from sky to transparent. None of this other stuff will be in there too, by the way. Then you're gonna come up. <clears throat> um, you're gonna go to view, cameras, active camera, shift F. Then you're gonna adjust it to how you want it. You're gonna right left click, render. It's gonna come back, come out like this, and save it. To go into view or image, save as image. I'll save the image somewhere, and yeah, I'll come back as soon as we're at the next step, which is editing it. And you're gonna go to whatever editor you're going to use. In this case, I'm using Pick Monkey because I know this by heart. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to Edit right here. Run out of time. Finish it up. Edit Computer. I'm gonna choose the File. Right here, here's a file. I'm gonna get a background and I'll be right back after I get the background. I'm back, you're gonna save image as and you're gonna save it as something. I'm gonna keep it as that. I'm gonna come back to pick monkey, I'm gonna hit the butterfly, add your own. My computer, and you're gonna get it from your computer. And it might overlap if it, if it overlaps, that is okay. You can just reinsert the GFX of you again. I'm gonna fit this to size, and I'll be back as soon as I in. Um, Hit add your own and put in the 
GFX again. After, after you're done with that, if you're on PicMonkey export, and you're going to save it, I'm going to be setting this as um, my YouTube page so you can see how it turns out down below. I'm going to end it here. Like, subscribe. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,